today we're going to do an unboxing video of the brand new Carbon Z Cub. So let's have a look inside the box. Okay, so here we are looking at the components outside of the box. Now we're looking at a bind and fly basic. So this will include everything without the battery, charger or transmitter. So although it is a bind and fly basic, it will require a small amount of assembly. But we'll go through the components and show you what it has included. So at the bottom you'll see the wing spar, again neatly taped to the, to the box to stop any damage. We've got the fuselage as one piece, uh, nicely seated in here, just held in by tape. The two wing panels underneath each other, all the wing struts, and you'll see the engine for the aeroplane is tucked away at the front, so that's not actually fitted initially. And then we have all the components, wheels, spinner, propeller, landing gear at the front in the corner there. And again, underneath the wing panels and the fuselage, you'll see again taped to the bottom of the box, the, the rudder surface, and also the two elevators, so the horizontal stabiliser. Okay, we're just going to do a bit of a construction video of some of the components on the Carbon Z Cub. And we'll start with the undercarriage, and I'll show you how to install this. So it just sits into there like that. And there's two little nylon uh, plugs which hold this into position. Four self-tapping screws, Allen key head, and I'll have split washers which go onto them. Okay, at the back of the undercarriage we've got a wire frame which presses into here. That's just a press fit. The, uh, I suppose, undercarriage covers, if you want to call them that. So that slides over to there. And you click onto the undercarriage. On the undercarriage, we'll have uh, four of these collars, so two on the inside of the wheels and two on the outside, obviously, on each axle. So pop them on. And the wheel. I recommend also lock tightening these to make sure that they don't come off. On this cub, one of the things that you will have to do on the rudder um, you will have to do a small amount of gluing, so there are three hinges in here which I've just used foam safe CA and accelerator to lock them into place. Um, but that's the only thing that you'll need to glue on here, so that's uh, drying at the moment. Um, and that's the rudder on. Okay, now at the front of the engine, uh, aircraft we'll do the engine and cowling. So we'll just connect the motors up to the wires correctly, so following the polarity of course. So that's the engine, and we can feed these wires into here. And now we can fit the cowling. The cowling just uses two bolts through the, I suppose you could say, cooling holes at the front here, and they go into these recesses here. Now we can fit the propeller to the front of the aeroplane using the supplied propeller driver, spinner and propeller. So put that on first. The rear plate and the propeller. Just 
tighten the prop nut up. We've just got a uh, shifter spanner for this one. They're just firm, doesn't need to be wrenched up super tight. And the spinner. And there's a the small screw that holds the spinner in the front here. Like that. Okay, so we'll install the horizontal stabilizer. So we've got one panel, we've got the carbon spar that holds these. That goes through the center there. And then locate that into the fuselage. And the same for the other panel. And the two elevator halves clip together with this little plastic locating pin here. These are attached with these uh, metric screws here. Okay, whilst we've got the airplane upside down, we'll also install um, a locating screw to take the stress off the hinges on the rudder here. And that doesn't need to be done up tight. You need, still need to have uh, movement in the rudder, so it's uh, merely just for support. Whilst we're here, we can also put the control surfaces uh, onto their push rods. So you can see um, you've got a choice of three positions depending on your flying style or determine um, where you want to position that. But um, for what we'll be, do we'll be doing is we'll be using the inside one. Now these will need to be adjusted. Usually you'll set your servo arm 90 degrees to the servo case. And you'll set the control surface level with the edge. The good way to tell is to line up your leading edges there um, to make sure all your push rods are at the correct length. So I'll check that now. So again, making sure that the servo arms are 90 degrees to the servo case. And then once uh, you've determined that, again, we're lining the elevator up and we'll line this here up with the desired hole. So this needs to come out a little bit. And these little bolts will retain that. We'll do a similar procedure for the rudder. And that's the rudder done. Okay, so we're looking at the wing panels. We'll start with the top of the wing, uh, and included with the cub are these turbulators, so they increase the lift at slow speeds. Uh, so each wing will have, I think it's three of these. And these face in the direction where the V points to the front of the aeroplane. Press them down firmly. Now we can move on to the underside of the wing. The add-ons are both, add-ons and flaps are already pre-installed. All we need to do is uh, work on the wing struts. And they fit on with the tab at the top. The thin one goes to the rear of the wing. And the big one will sit on the front. These are just held in with some metric bolts. And lock nuts. Then we have a strut brace, which goes onto the bottom of the wing to support these two here. And to hold these upper pieces, there are some aluminium pins and R clips which go onto these. So I'll just go through there. Go on there. And a clip to retain that. And that's the wings done. Okay, so we'll just show how to install the, the wing panels. So we'll see these are these are the aileron and flat servo extension leads, so it makes it really easy to plug 
your extension leads into, so we'll show you how they go in. So firstly we'll start with the wing spar, quite easily through the middle, centre that. And then we can offer the wing up to that, and again, um, this has been labelled, so you'll see the aileron has AIL on it, and your flap uh, tells you that it's a flap, so you can lo locate them with the pins there. So we'll under there, leave it out a bit. Another on flap, and they can go into there. And the wing is simply held on with these longer metric bolts. We'll just tuck one of them in. And again, just firm. And from the underneath, we'll install two more of these little aluminium pins to hold the wing struts onto the fuselage. And again, a small R clip to retain that. Wing is on. So here we go, guys. That's our Carbon Z Cub. We've uh, assembled it. It's ready to be set up in a transmitter and go to take it for a flight.